Listen to me. Nobody knows you like you know yourself. Nobody knows what you're capable of doing. Nobody understands your situation and nobody walks in your shoes. Nobody knows the struggles, the strains that you endure. Nobody knows the burdens that you carry. All they know is when they see you, that you're in a happy place. When they see you, you are smiling. When they see you, you're like your normal self. But on the inside, demolition is going on. Things are being broken down in your life. There's problems coming from every angle, from the side, from the back, and from the front. There are people who sit intentionally plotting and planning to make your life a living hell. No matter how hard you try, they see no good in what you do. No matter how you love in spite of, they take the love that you give and they turn it to negativity. You stay away, you isolate yourself, and they still have a problem. You give in, you come around, and they still have a problem. Then you say to yourself, I'm not dealing with this anymore. It's too much. And most of the time, the things that we go through and the things that we struggle with the most comes from our family members, people that we're dating, and people that we're married to, and our closest friends. So you would think they would know the type of person that you are. You would think they would know how not to push your buttons. You would think they would understand how to be supportive. You think they will be in a position to give you encouraging and motivating and inspiring words to help you get through your storm. But instead of helping you get through your storm, instead of motivating you and inspiring you and being there with you as you're going through, they're being very negative. They're being very cutting. They're being very mean. They're being very cruel to you. Not caring about your feelings, not caring about your emotions, not even concerned about your situations of what you're going through. They don't care how much it hurt. They don't care how much they pick at you. They don't care how much, you know, it make you feel uncomfortable. They just don't care. So you say to yourself, why bother? Why even make the effort? Why even make the move? Why even be in the company of when people don't love you authentically and genuinely? All they come around most of the time is to use you and to see what you got when you get what you got. And when you don't have what they need, then it's another problem, right? When you don't do what they want you to do, then it's another problem. But you know what I've learned? And I hope that you get it too. That God sees and knows all. And no matter what people say, no matter what they do, how they treat you, how they make you feel, I know it hurt down to your core. I know at times you can't understand the reasons why. But what we have to do is to lean, depend, and trust God. See, there comes a time in everybody's life, no matter the age, no matter the color, no matter the religion background, no matter what kind type of business you're in, no matter the, the, the size of who you are, it doesn't matter. Even the color of your eyes and the strands of hair on your head, it don't matter. Because when God says it's time for a payday, it's time for a payday. You can't run. You can't hide. You can't skip through it. Oh, it's coming back to you. So we really need to be mindful how we treat people, what we say about people, how we do people. Because God is real. (laughs) And baby, his payday is better than any payday you will ever get. I promise you. So when you feel like you're all alone, when you feel like people have done you wrong, and when you hurt, 
you're battered and you're bruised. Give it to Jesus. Give him every weight that so easily beset you and let him have it. Let him have it. Let him work on that thing and you walk away from it. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to pick it back up. Just give it to God. Say, God, I give. If you want to name the person, name the person. If you want to name the situation, name the situation. If it's finance, if it's somebody you're dating, somebody you're married to, your family, or even your closest friend, give them to Jesus and let him handle it. And I promise you, I promise you, he going to take care of it. It's better than money in the bank. But you got to know this. You may not see it. You may not know it. But just trust. Trust God with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. He got it. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he going to direct not some of your path, but all of your path. And believe me, I'm telling you for what I know. People have done me wrong. And they're paying for it today. And never wish bad on anybody. Always pray for them. Ask God to cover them, protect them, and keep them. And let God take care of the rest. Listen to what I'm telling you. 